Hey everyone, Mike here from Watch It Paint It, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make cool looking swamp bases for your Dominion Aurochs, or any other creature that might lurk in a swamp. I'm starting off with an old 40mm base and a piece of cork board, though tree bark works great for this as well. This piece is a bit too thick, so I'm going to cut it thinner before I use it. Next I'm going to super glue this to the base and give it a few minutes to harden before I prime everything. The color you use doesn't matter at all, but something neutral or brown works best. After that, I'm painting the cork a dark brown. The cork is going to be a mound of dirt in the middle of this swamp. Once that's dry, I'm covering the dirt mound with a layer of Nuln oil, just to get a bit of shadow into all the cracks and crevices. Next I'm going to do a couple quick layers of dry brushing. The first one is going to be with 50-50 Dryad Bark and Mornfang Brown. The next one is going to be with pure Mornfang Brown, and I'm only adding this around the edges of the cork. Now I'm going to do the swamp water. The first thing I'm doing for this is painting all of the areas that will have water with a pure white. Next I'm creating a gross looking greenish brown for the bottom of the water. I'm using necrotic flesh and steel legion drab for this, but if you don't have necrotic flesh, ogren camo is a very good substitute. I'm also using a darker version of the gross green color. This one is called battle dress green from P3. If you don't have this color, you can just mix dryad bark with the same green you used before. Now I want to take the lighter green color and put a good solid base coat over the white with it. Next I'm taking the darker green and I'm painting the outer half or so of the water area. After that's on, I'm going to just wet blend the edges a bit so it's not super obvious where the line is between these two colors. But if wet blending isn't your thing, the water is going to help blur this a bit anyhow. Now I'm going to do one final color for the deepest part of the water by mixing some Stegodon scale green into the darkest green color. Then I'm just painting the outer edge of the widest part of the dark green. I'm trying to create the illusion that the water is getting deeper as you move away from the center of the base. Next I'm going to glue down a few pieces of stick that I grabbed from outside. I think this is alder and as you can see I've cut it on an angle. I'm gluing it so it looks like it's poking out from the mud in the water. I'm then sticking another smaller branch onto the base, but this time I'm gluing it down with a bit of sterling mud earth texture. Alright, now for the water. I'm going to be using Vallejo's water texture for this, but if you're in a hurry, there are also UV resins that you can use that cure instantly under UV light. I haven't experimented with these though, so I'm not sure how they react to being mixed with paint. I'm mixing my water texture with a few drops of Athonian Camo Shade to give it a murky green color. To apply the water texture, I'm using an eyedropper. You can get these from any pharmacy. I'm adding the water texture slowly over the green areas and trying to spread it out evenly. This stuff is viscous enough and has a high enough surface tension that it won't spill over the edge of your base. Just don't apply it too thickly. Water texture shrinks as it cures, so you'll have to add at least two layers of this. With each layer, I'm using the end of a paintbrush just to gently push the water texture right to the edge of the base. I want each layer to be as flat and uniform as possible. I've given this overnight to cure, and now I'm adding a second and final layer of the colored water texture. Okay, the last thing I want to do to try to sell this as a swamp is to add some greenery, some long grasses and mosses. Oh, and by the way, you can add the long grass before you add the water texture and make it look like the grass is growing out of the water. I'll do that next time. So as you can see, I'm just super gluing on some tufts, as well as some Icelandic moss. At least that's what someone told me it was. I just picked this up at an arts and crafts store. It just looked like it belonged in a swamp.
As the final step, I'm painting the rim of the base. Now, unlike most of my bases, I will not be spraying this with a matte varnish. That will totally ruin the water texture. Instead, after painting the rim of the base, I'll use some brush-on matte varnish to keep this from chipping. And there you have it, a swamp base for aurochs and ogres alike. A special thanks to the OG patrons who supported the creation of this video. Ben and I would also like to say thanks to all the patrons of Watch It Painted and for your continued support of our obsessive hobby. I hope you all liked this video and thanks for watching.